Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to Der Cayman Echo. This is a game that recently came out and it's actually very, very awesome. I've played for a couple of hours right now and the basic idea behind this game is that you have a small group of soldiers that you basically sort of control with your voice. So I got my microphone right here. I will be using that, um, you know, to basically control the troops that you will be seeing in this game. Um, and we are just now about to actually embark on a mission. So you can see the, uh, the guys that I got so far. I got Corin, Miranda, Grace and Sil. Well, you can't actually see Sil right there, uh, but that's completely all right. Um, they all have a bunch of different weapons. So as you can see, all of them do have the pistol right there. They got a charge gun and then we got Sil also on the charge gun. And at the bottom, we have the screw gun, the real gun, the other sniper guns and all kinds of different weapons. My basic idea behind this setup so far, and, and you know, this may not be the ideal way to play, but the basic idea behind my setup so far is that I have sort of like the women on the snipers and on like the long term, like the long range weapons. And then we got the two guys that are in this team um, on like the more like shorter distance. That's at the very least my idea so far. Got some perks on them as well, which are basically giving them some extra accuracy and some extra strength with the weapons. But I figured let's just move out and hopefully I'll be able to show you some, uh, some decent gameplay. Now the basic idea behind the story is that we are trying to figure out a secret with this like bad woman or woman rather that is like trying to kill one of us. I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but hey. Alright, so here we are in the actual game. Now, like I said, this is going to be completely voice driven and you can see this little bar moving up and down when it does detect my voice. Now, every now and then, I don't know if it is because of my accent or because of just not clearly talking or because I talk too quickly or whatever. Um, but every now and then, it doesn't pick up my voice. So hopefully everything will run smoothly right here. Now, these are my four guys right here. They are chilling around. I can also like control them with the mouse, but we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We wanna do that with a voice. Um, and it looks like there's a bunch of bad guys over here. Now, this seems to actually be kind of an in-depth mission, so hopefully uh, I will be able to do this without, like, failing too much. And, um, you know, pr like, previous experiences will probably show that I'm not very good at that, but here we go. So, I want them, first of all, to all switch to their other weapons, because right now they have all the pistols selected, and it's just not very good. Corin, switch to charge gun. You got it, Sam. I'm Sam, by the way, apparently, for whatever reason. Miranda, switch to sniper. Copy that. Grace, switch to sniper. Sil, switch to screw gun. Yes, sir. All right, so here we are. Gotta try and start moving forward. Now we're gonna have to analyze the situation a little bit right here. There's a couple guys hiding right there and there's a couple more guys hiding over there. I think it's gonna be best if we send all of them to Alpha 1 first and see what happens. Everyone, Alpha 1. Okay, here we go. They're gonna start running. Corin is apparently in the front right now. They do have some strong weapons, but I only have two recharges. As you can see, there's these little battery icons right there. It will basically allow them to recharge their health. I keep getting hit. All right. Well, it's fine. Corin, recharge. Yes, sir. Miranda, recharge. Alright, so we did manage to clear the very first room right there. Now, Sil is in a little bit of trouble and Grace actually ended up going down right there as well. Not the greatest move so far. Sil, recharge. There we go. Got him back to full health right now. Grace, recharge. Grace, recharge. Yeah, sometimes basically, like, sometimes I, I talk a little bit too quickly and for whatever reason it doesn't like picking up all the commands in one row or like in one command. And I basically have to like slow down a little bit between the commands, I've noticed that just does it a little bit better. But this is gonna be a tricky one, look at the amount of guys that are over in this room. Now we do need to try and get over to that little area, but there's gonna be a lot of fighting here. Which one do we go to first? Um, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go to Delta 5 first, but it's gonna be kind of scary. I'm, I think I'm just gonna have to run all of them in and go from there. Hmm. Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. I wasn't saying anything yet, Val. It's okay, though. Everyone to Delta 5. Yes, sir. Oh god. Oh god. Focus fire, target 18. Focus fire, target 16. Get him, guys. Get him. Oh god, this may have not been the very smartest move right here. Miranda, move to Delta 6. Miranda, Delta 6. Okay, okay, okay. We did actually manage to clean that up decently well right there. Well, not yet, but there we go. 
Try a pincer attack on the enemy, Sam. Well, I, maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should, should have done for a bit of a pincer attack. But we should be able to recharge right there, which is good. Miranda, recharge. Okay, she's back at full health right now as well. So all in all, I gotta be honest, it's working quite well, especially when you're not like doing direct commentary to the game. It does need a little bit of a pause between the commands that you're giving it. Um, and obviously this is still one of the early missions in the game as well, so it's not like the most difficult one. We don't really need to like keep shouting at the units or at the, uh, at the army either. But this is, all, this is all going quite well. I'm thinking of clearing out this room to the left right here next. Uh, but there's a lot of guys in here. Hmm, we're gonna just have to try and, and keep them alive I suppose. There's gonna be another one of these things right there that will allow us to get another recharge on the battery. So I can definitely go ahead and recharge right now. Corin, recharge. Grace, recharge. Grace, recharge. There we go. Speak up, Sam. We can't hmm. quite All right. I'm thinking of, we're just gonna run straight to Bravo 2. I think that would be an okay move. Uh, we're gonna have to switch some weapons out though. Grace, switch to real gun. Miranda, switch to railgun. Understood. Some more sh like short combat sort of strategy instead of like the uh, long range stuff that I was doing previously. I think this is gonna work a little bit better if we're gonna like ambush them. Everyone, move to Bravo 2. Oh god, here goes nothing. <laughs> this is kind of scary right here. Corin, move to Bravo 3. Corin, Bravo 3. Alright, that was kind of a scary battle right there. Everyone took a lot of damage, but we ended up doing quite a bit as well. We did manage to clear up that room reasonably well. Uh, for whatever reason, they didn't like listening to me right there. They were kind of scary. Everyone, recharge. They're at full health, Sam. <laughs> Boom. Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. Everyone is at full health right now. Now, I am gonna have to move to the next rooms as well. Uh, we're gonna have to find Mir. I don't really know where he's positioned, but I think we should just clear every single room and go from there. Now, I can actually queue up commands as well, so I can be like, uh, on my mark, take out target, you know, 16, something like that. That does actually work, but in these ones, it looks like I'm gonna be better off just uh, giving them commands like this. Now, ideally, I kinda wanna go just to Charlie 7, see if there's a uh, mirror in there, maybe. Uh, we should have a pretty reasonable time just going ahead and doing that, so let's give that a try. Everyone, Charlie 7. Oh, they're gonna walk the other way around. Oh god, they're gonna do a little bit of running. That's okay, though, because maybe we can actually find the objective right here to get Mir. Uh, don't really know exactly if they're gonna, like, walk through this room, though. I sincerely hope not. I can actually stop them from moving as well, if it turns out to be necessary, but... <sighs> alright, alright, looks like they didn't get spotted. I don't know if Mir is anywhere over here, though. No. That door open. Hit the all right, switch. all right, we are gonna hit the switch. Cool. Activate overwrite. Lame. These two switches need to be pressed simultaneously. Apparently. Oh. Get someone to the other side as well. Okay, so we're gonna have to actually send a couple of the guys over to Echo Seven right there. Okay, let's let's just let's just keep one or let's just pick one of them. Corin, Echo Seven. Is he gonna run all the way like that? Oh god, that may actually not be very smart. I hope that he would actually move through the doors right there, but he's, they seem to actually be locked. Okay, it looks like I actually need to just select both of these guys and activate the override together. Miranda Corin, activate override. There we go. Looks like we can now move ahead to Foxtrot 1 right there. Haven't found Mir just yet though. He's probably gonna be in the next little area. Let's have a little bit of a look around right here. He's probably gonna be in one of those rooms. I wouldn't be surprised. Or we're gonna actually have to maybe get out of here again as well. Um, but we have uh, completed the first little area of this map, which is pretty cool. Um, what kind of weapons would be ideal right here? I'm thinking of snipers, right? Yeah, that would actually work out very well. Miranda, switch to sniper. Grace, switch to sniper. Sil, so. switch to charge. Okay. Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. Mm, I think we're just gonna run straight to Foxtrot 2. I think that may be worth it right there. I don't really want to move him forward too far. Yeah, I think that's okay. We can also go to Foxtrot 4 after taking out these two guys. Alright, yeah, we're gonna do that. 
Foxtrot 2. Yeah. Alright, here they go. I'm gonna have to see what they do though. Focus fire target 2. We're getting pummeled. Get me out of here. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry. Miranda, recharge. Grace, recharge. Everyone, move to Foxtrot 4. Understood. Focus fire target 5. Boom. Alright, looks like we got to manage to clear this room as well. Don't really know where the guy is though. I don't know where Mira is located, but so far so good. We are dealing a lot of damage to them and we're not taking that much damage ourselves. So far, though, things are going quite well, but we managed to find him. Mia, Sweet. What happened? <coughs> She's down there. Oh, God. Is she? Wow, that's actually the bad woman. All right, so one very important thing about this game, if you are thinking about giving it a try, is the story, okay? In between the last mission that you just saw and this, there was about 15-ish minutes of them just talking and, you know, basically discussing what the next mission is gonna be about and the story progressing and whatnot. So, one very important thing to keep in mind is that it's not just gonna be your voice-activated control, but mainly also, like, a story that you will be following. Honestly, I'm having a great time playing this game. I'm gonna play some more. Hopefully, I enjoyed this one as as well if you did make sure you hit that like button below the video as well as the subscribe button let me know whether or not you would like me to cover this game some more i want to thank you guys all for watching have an amazing day do not forget to smile and i'll see you in the next one bye